All right, cool. Hello lovelies, welcome back. My name is Teja Avani and today we're making this bedazzled Bratz tank top. So if you would like to know how to make your own, please keep on watching till the end. Okay, so now let's get this tutorial started. I have my Bratz logo printed out on a fabric transfer paper. However, this is the wrong way to do it. It's supposed to be reversed and I didn't do that and y'all are gonna see what's gonna happen later on in this video. It, it's traumatizing y'all it's heartbreaking what we're doing now is i'm just gonna cut out the brats logo and i just kind of did like a basic I'll just cut around it but now i'm kind of refining that cut just cutting out all like the extra like white spaces but still leaving the letters connected and i'm just doing this just to be extra because um you can actually like the white parts do transfer onto the t-shirt and I, I just want the least amount of that as possible and i just wanted to show y'all right here that i did nick the actual transfer a little bit so please be careful when you're cutting out your logo because you can like actually scrape a little bit of the pigment off this is what my logo looks like once i'm done cutting it out now i'm taking my t-shirt that i got from amazon it will be linked down below and i'm just going to quickly iron the t-shirt just making sure that there's no wrinkles and no bubbles and nothing that will be like stamped into the logo once we transfer it and now i'm taking my transfer i'm also being extra again and using like a ruler because i measured out exactly where i wanted the logo to go but y'all can just eyeball it like for real it's not even that serious anyway i flipped the transfer paper over so that the actual color is on the t-shirt and now i'm going to iron it and because we flip over the logo that's why it's important to reverse the image when you're printing it out on the transfer paper when you're using letters because like it's gonna end up backwards if you do it just like the regular way and once you're done ironing we're actually gonna also let it cool down for two minutes this kind of helps with just the peeling process so now I'm going to just carefully peel it off. If you see any of the logo lifting, just put the paper back down and iron it over again. Um, I had to do that quite a few times. I just didn't show it in this video, but it took a hot minute to kind of make sure that everything was sticking onto the tank top. So as you see, as I lift the paper off, the shit's backwards. <laughs> And you can literally kind of like see like my recognition of, oh crap, I just messed this whole video up. Just disappointment and despair. So yeah, we're just going to use a seam ripper. You can also use scissors just to cut off the tag. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to actually cut that part out and flip the t-shirt over like I just did and redo the whole t-shirt transfer process. And as you can see, my logo this time is now reversed. And so when I flip it over, it'll be actually the right, you know, direction. So again, I cut everything out. I'm going to iron it onto the, the back, technically the back of the t-shirt, the tank top. But as you see, kind of like how I have the little flaps on the side, I, that's from after I cut off the um, logo and I kind of just made like a panel I just cut it down the middle and I'm gonna actually lace everything up in the back after I iron up iron this um, tank top and do the rhinestones and stuff like that so I'm just gonna do that real 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 quick and I'll be back when I start um, rhinestoning everything And as you can see, it's right this time. You know, we learned our lesson and we ain't never gonna do that again. So now I'm going to break out the rhinestones. I have purple rhinestones and gold rhinestones, but the purple rhinestones is about to exit the chat real soon because I just wasn't feeling them. So I'm just setting up my rhinestone station, setting up my glue, and we're about to rhinestone like we usually do on this channel. Just nothing's changed. If you've seen my past videos, it's the same routine. So after I pour out my glue, I'm going to take a paintbrush and I'm just going to, going to paint the inside of the Bratz letter just with the glue and then I'm just going to use some tweezers and put the rhinestones on top. Now my mistake with the purple rhinestones, a couple of things. Th number one was the color. I just wasn't feeling this color at all because it was totally different from the actual letters. I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea and why did I continue to rhinestone. I literally have no idea but I just decided to do it anyway. And so the but the second problem with these purple rhinestones is that they were way too small for the type of rhinestoning I was doing because when you uh, rhinestone letters like wall to wall like 
it has to be precise in order for the letter to be correct. And so I had, I think about four millimeter rhinestones and those are way too big to do that type of rhinestoning. So I would say like three millimeters are way better to do like kind of specific rhinestoning. So um, now I'm taking a smaller brush and to do the outline of gold rhinestones. And I'm just taking those rhinestones um, and just putting them out on the perimeter of the letter, pretty much where the gold or the yellow pigment is. Yeah, and those gold rhinestones are about two millimeters. So those are a little bit smaller and easier to work with with this type of rhinestoning. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm do it for the outside of the letter and the inside of the letter. And then once I continue with the rest of the letters, I'm just going to use the gold rhinestones to outline the rest of the letters inside and outside. Okay, so just, you know, hold on to the end of this rhinestoning section so you can see how I kind of fix the back, well, front now back of the tank top to make it, you know, redeemable and not look like a hot ass mess. And so this is what it looks like once we're all done rhinestoning and I leave that for about a day just making sure that everything is, you know, sticking to the tank top undisturbed and unbothered. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the tank top and kind of open it so like the back part slits are open the ends of the tank top that are now open. I'm taking a ruler and marking one inch dots apart up the you know ends of the tank top and then i'm matching that on the other side uh, and those will be the markers for our like grommets or eyelets quote unquote um, that we'll be putting in to be able to lace up the top and the back and so what i'm doing now is i am taking my tweezers and i'm using it to like poke a hole through the tank top and then like this is when you put your grommets if you want to however I don't have any, so I'm just going to leave it like that. <laughs> I'm now taking some white ribbon and I'm flipping my t-shirt or tank top to the back and I'm going to lace up the tank top that way. And what I did to make it easier for myself was to put um, safety pins on either side of the ribbon just to make sure that it can go through the holes with ease. <laughs> And so I just do that, lace up the tank top, take my time. And once we're finished doing that, then we're all done. Okay, so this is how the finished uh, tank top looks like. It looks super duper cute. Yeah, it's not gonna like focus, but like there's like rips in the design, which is really, really annoying. So like, I don't think the transfer paper works on like stretchy fabric for whatever reason. It's like really, really annoying. But anyway, this is what the t-shirt came out to look like, even with the rips. So I'm pretty sure I have to actually go back to that you know purple rhinestone that we 
freaking threw out <laughs> and um now I have to fill in the rest of the letters with that color so I have to get the smaller rhinestones like I explained in the video in order to cover all of these like crackle marks <laughs> I think if you want to like avoid this you can like probably put some like Mod Podge or or some rhinestone glue to maybe hold the fibers together a little bit more because I really didn't expect this to happen this never happened to me before um, but I don't think I did transfer paper on like on stretchy fabric before so um, I'm kind of disappointed about that but other than that it's a really really cute shirt like this is the back of it I didn't lace it up completely but it's really 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 cute let's move on uh, to the wrap-up of this video yeah, so I just kind of wanted to do a cute little brat DIY, just a little quick little, you know, quickie type of DIY tutorial uh, in between like like the huge big ones because like with the slurry transformations, they take so much work and energy that like it's hard to release one weekly. So I try to like, I like to like sprinkle these DIYs in between just to give me time and to give y'all content. Meanwhile, I work on the bigger celebrity transformations and all that good stuff. So down below, let me know uh, if you would make this Bratz tank top and also like what color tank top would you make it in? And yeah, just comment that down below. Please subscribe, please follow all of my social medias and turn on your post notifications and all of that good stuff. So as always, please love yourself and I will see you next video. Mwah.